Good morning, everybody. It's so good to see you guys again. I just wanted to pop on and make a quick video. I know Kathy's made a few other videos about ways to bring the peace room home. So we thought we would make another one about a really popular item in the peace room for kids of all ages. And this is also a really common question we're getting from a lot of parents is how to make a sandbox like the one you have in the peace room. So in the peace room, we have a large sensory table that's filled with sand and different things that kids can use in the sand, like different kind of cookie cutters, little sand toys to make shapes. And we use a specific type of sand that's a little less messy um, and that the kids really enjoy and it's called kinetic sand. So I just wanted to give you a few tips on making your own kinetic sand box at home so you can bring part of the peace room home too. Sand play is really, really good for kids and they need a sensory break. It's a really great spot to calm down. It's a great spot to be creative. It's a great spot to just take a minute alone and adults um, often enjoy it too. So you can totally use a variety of objects for your own at home sand tray. We generally prefer kinetic sand because it's a little less messy. If you're not familiar with kinetic sand, it's really awesome sand that kind of sticks together, does really cool things. It's not super loose and fine and granular like regular sand. You can really find bulk orders of kinetic sand on any online retailer, Amazon, Target, you can get it anywhere. Um, it usually comes in a large bag, but you can also buy different kits. There's a brand called Kinetic Sand now, and they offer a variety of fun colors, but generally in the peace room, we just buy the sand colored Kinetic Sand. We have it in a large tub in the peace room, a pretty large table with little chairs next to it, but you can really put it in anything. I have a small container that has like a snap-on lid and my own house, this is for my own son. Um, but you can put it in a very large Tupperware container. You could buy a Rubbermaid storage tote and put it in there. It is important that it has a lid just so that it stays sealed up. You don't want it to get too dry. So I encourage you to get a container with a lid to put your sand in. Um, but this is what it might look like. I personally recommend having a few items available in your own little sand tray. Like I mentioned in the peace room, we have um, a large sand tray that's filled with cookie cutters, a variety of actual sand toys that you might take with you to the beach. So if you have some of those laying around, awesome. But you can also use whatever you have at home. So I have a little ninja cookie cutter. I have some spare cooking utensils that would be fun for scooping and pouring and making shapes. But what's also really fun for kids, especially right now, so that they can be creative, um, they can have a little bit of a creative outlet and tell some kinds of stories through their play, which is super, super important, is finding little figures around your house. So I had found some little figures from various kits from like the dollar store that my son plays with. Though I have some trees, uh, a variety of animals, I found this tiny little house that might be fun to be creative with and tell a story with, a treasure chest, more trees, some dinosaurs, and some more animals. You could even include figurines of popular stories that they like. Um, you could really use anything around your house. You don't want to overload the sand tray with a lot of different items, but enough that they're creative. You could even put it in a spot where you put these things on a little shelf next to it so that they have the option to be imaginative and use tools like this to tell stories, or just use some sensory things with like pouring and scooping and digging and shaping. Some of the older kids, even some of the younger kids, but a lot of the older kids really just like to come in and shape it with their hands. This is just a really, really great way to get some sensory experiences during the day for kids. Uh, we'll see a lot of kids come in feeling really dysregulated or upset and they'll just sit at the, the sand table and play for a little bit and it really helps their bodies and their brains calm down. So this is a really, really popular item, like I said, in the peace room. Um, it would be great for your kiddos at home if you could create something like this. I think that a lot of kids would really enjoy it and benefit from it and I think adults would too. So I just wanted to share with you a few other ways to make a sand tray at home. Like I mentioned, we've been getting a lot of emails about this, so I just wanted to give you some tips. Thanks guys, we miss you.